Cheryl Kennedy, Chairwoman, Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde. I was, uh, when I was born, all of my nine siblings were raised in a baby board until we were, well, we were old enough to run around. So, yes, all of my children were raised in a baby board. My grandchildren, all of them. So we still use, use them today. My, the boards for my children were made by my sister, the baby's aunts. Um, they, the materials that were used were not woven as this one, but I can show you them were more along these lines, a little different, this, <laughs> along the lines of this, um, of course you can see this was fragile, I broke this one on the way, but um, they were raised in this kind of board. My daughter had a board like this. It was a huge full leather um, baby board. It's woven on the interior. This is woven on the top. This is from the Paiute. My, my husband is Paiute and so this is the type of board that they use. So my daughter, being half Paiute, was in a board like this and like the other. This was more the style that we were raised in. This actually was from uh, one of my brothers and we're all, we're all over the hill. <laughs> He would be in his 70s. This one here. This is more of the lines of the Plateau Indians. But as you can see, they too had a protective, uh, uh, this was generally some kind of carved board that they covered with leather. And then the hoop to which they could also hang um, the focus, we call them focus uh, attention. Uh, getters so that they could see something and they could hear something. The purpose for using the baby board was I believe customary but because there are attributes of safety in them. Uh, in the boards that I have here I have five that are probably you can see uh, in the view. They all have similarities. Number one they they are all straight pretty much to hold the child or the infant in a position that is now known as one of the healthiest ways to, to sleep is on your back. It prevents SIDS, it keeps uh, the head more stable uh, and so that you, there's less harm of injury. Um, the other similarities about them, they almost all have a type of covering that comes over their head and in uh, this type, you have the bows that are made of uh, rose, of rose bush because they're very uh, sturdy. And when they dry, you uh, be, but before they dry, you put them in a bow and you tie them, and then you decorate them. Usually, we have the covering fully beaded, but uh, all of them have uh, shells that are hanging something that makes a gentle noise to help the child uh, in their entertainment and in their focus. One of the other things is these are forerunners of uh, mobiles that are used in uh, children's nurseries. Uh, you can hang them, but these were back in the day and the sounds uh, were soothing to them so when you held them you could what we called ushi them. When you ushi them, it's that. And the rocking motion of it um, puts them to sleep. It also gives them the confidence that they're being held and they're comforted, they're secure. So that's some of the similarities among all the boards. This one here is woven, but it has the same kind of attributes. And generally they do hang uh, little beads or shells, pine nut shells that have a rhythmic sound when you shake them. Um, the older ones, like this one, um, was used to uh, cradle the board. 
all of the children are wrapped securely with their hands down so that when they sleep they don't jerk themselves awake as nowadays and so you're up half the night uh, trying to get the infant to go back to sleep but then you they were secure they felt good and this one here I will as you can tell it's quite elaborate and ornate it's beautifully um, beaded you see the mirrors which repel um, kind of bad things that might come to it and there's also the soothing jingle so uh, this is these are just examples although all tribes had had their own version of what they put their children in uh, for safety of course some you could put them on your back you could hold them you could have them on your horse or set them up against something so that they could see while they were um, while you while the mother was busy you, they could watch you and they knew you were always in sight well um, as far as repellents of danger or harm what we did when the board was made by the aunties generally um, sometimes the grandma but it was generally the aunties who made them there was like a little blessing ceremony that went over that in the gifting to the child and uh, of course there was it, it was a really great celebration as you welcomed uh, your new little one into the home but uh, there was of course the smudging ceremony and there was uh, the prayers that were offered up for the child there were um, kind of like a today would be like a baby shower the gifting of different things to the baby things that others made as the family welcomed the child into into the home so in ours a lot of them had mirrors to repel any bad spirits um, we would have at least one that hung and uh, it reflected so uh, different people you know do different ways but that was how we acknowledge that you know we were not only providing a safe um, product if you would say th but also uh, empowered um, different things like articles like the mirrors and the blessings over it um, so that the baby is protected spiritually as well I will I will say one further thing I know this happened with me with my son my son is in his 50s and so um, when I would take him in his board we'd go shopping or whatever and stand him up there in the cart and he'd be looking around um, I often was stopped and I was asked doesn't that hurt him and I said no on the contrary it keeps them safe it protects them it keep it helps them to grow and be aware uh, but that was something that I was always asked well I don't think I don't think they'd like it is what they would say and of course it's thousands and thousands of years of tradition and yeah. and the other thing we breastfed our kids our babies so I didn't bring a bl uh, blanket which I was going to but this accommodates the covering right with them you can feed them wherever you're at with the baby blanket over you and yeah so that was the important part as well